the two of you ladies are sort of freelancers. I'm gonna try to make a verbal picture of this. Let's say you go to Costco. And in Costco, there are stations there to try out new products and new tidbits of food. I don't take my husband anymore there. He thought it was going out for lunch. He would go from <laughs> one to another, to another and then go back for seconds. It was humiliating. People were watching me. They said, there's Judy's husband. She's, he's he's grazing fed. in Costco. So I don't take him there anymore. You ladies are freelancers. People have a product and they say, will you go and stand at the demonstration booth and sell my product, whatever that product is. And the two of you were working on opposite sides of an aisle in a store. Do you want to tell me the name of the store? Mother's Grocery Store. A grocery store. Correct. And you were selling what? Orgeen uh, protein powder. You were selling a protein powder and you were selling? My own product. Which Skin one? Care. Hmm? Skin care. Had you ever been selling at the same store at the same time before? No. No. Okay, and this happened on what date? December 6th. It was a Wednesday, 2017. December 6th. Correct. So now we have you each selling your own products. You were protein powder. She's selling her own skincare line with different stuff on the other side of the aisle. And the aisles are probably as wide as these two desks together. A little, a little wider. wider. I've, got, I've got a picture of showing it. I do also. I, and just, could you just answer my question? Are they about the size of these two desks put together? Would you say that that's the size of an aisle or bigger? No, about that size. Okay. Miss Wax walked away from her station, leaving it, according to you, unattended. At that time, a customer walked by and evidently was interested in touching one of the products, trying it out. And what she decided to try out was a spray. So she picked up the spray and she sprayed it. And you claim as a result of her spraying it, some of the spray got in your eye and you were injured. So you're suing her for negligence. Mm -hmm. Is that the case? Yes. Perfect. Did you see what it was that they sprayed? Afterwards, I did. You saw what it was afterwards? Correct. I saw the customer pick up the bottle, and she went like this, and it squirted in a straight line right across the aisle, right into my eye. It felt like a rubber band snapped my eye. And then when did you see what it was? When the customer brought it over. It was, it, she's got the tester right there. Just, 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 just. Sorry. When the customer brought it over to whom? To me. She, she said she had it in her hand. She had it in her hand. She brought it over to you because you must have said, ouch. I, I screamed, yeah. It hurt. Screamed. And so she brought it over to you to show you what it was. Mm -hmm. And you looked at it, right? Mm -hmm. What was it? It's a, a blue bottle with a, like a spray thing on top, a white spray. Thing. What it's did like it a... say on the bottle? Do you remember? No. Did you look to see whether it was hairspray or mouthwash? No, or... I was holding my eye. I was in pain. But you could see that it was a spray bottle with a blue top. You no, just it, had a, it was a blue bottle with a white top. With a white top. You saw that. I did. You didn't see that with your ears. No. You saw it with your eyes. Mm -hmm. And then she came back. And your eye hurt you. Yes. What time of the day did this happen? About a quarter to one. How many hours was your shift? Uh, four hours. I started at 10, and I was going to end at 2. And you get paid by the hour? Yes. And what was the name of the company you worked for on that day? Orgain. Did you bill them for a full four hours? Yes, I worked the full four hours. So you worked for another two hours? Yes. Selling your products, making your protein powder, and giving it to people. Mm -hmm. And I, but, I'm sorry. So I assume at two o'clock when you finished, you went immediately to the doctor? No. Did you go to the doctor the next day? I went the third day. You went the third day? Yes. Well, what happened immediately thereafter? I had another shift to do. And once again, shush, I- shush, shush, shush. You had another shift to do for whom? For a company called Jumpstart Bakery. And you did that shift? I did with, well, I kept going back and rinsing my eye out. Uh, uh, uh. I mean, you know, I don't know how old you are. I know how old I am. I'm if 71. Your eye hurts you, if your eye hurts you, you don't keep rinsing it out. That's not what you do. Once you rinse out your eye, your eye's rinsed. It doesn't hold stuff in there. Yeah, it did. Oh, yeah. It was okay. Long. Show me your medical records. Okay. I went on the third show day. Me I've got your, pictures. Ju just show me your medical records. You know, there's a difference between something that happens and something that's capable this is the of compensation. Thing, and this is when I went to the ophthalmologist.